hard work can take you a few distance but smart work combined with the right strategy can take you to the right destination well this quotation was told by my mentor I always remember this that without strategy i am nothing and if i'm not growing i'm dead so today i'm here to tell you about how to grow strategically to earn a lot of money from indian academy now many of you may be interested in getting into jobs in the Indian universities. Now what makes it more lucrative is the fact in the next 5 years all the foreign universities are going to come and have a satellite campuses in India including Harvard, Cambridge, Oxford, all of them. Now why do I say that? Because recently UGC changed a regulation which allows foreign universities to have satellite campuses in India. So that means of course more money is coming your way. But the problem is you are not strategizing, right? You need to do that. How do you do that? that will tell you now it is not a bad thing to be in the indian academy it has got excellent work life balance good pay package peace of mind balanced life and fixed timing i would say if given a chance i would take it if i was not in biotech let's start with what will make you achieve success in the indian academy If there were no new colleges opening up then I would say the Indian Academy are is declining so there's no point in getting in there but now that I told you that new campuses are going to open and now and then we are seeing new private universities coming up and the UGC pay scale is very high then definitely you can earn a lot of money I have seen that somebody who is just MSc and tried to get in as assistant professor after net less is getting very less maybe 25 30000 rupees that's not what you should be doing so what do you have to do is you have to do your phd that's something you cannot deny do your post doc from abroad that's the second step Okay and develop a strong portfolio of research papers high impact journals you have to target and publish as many papers now publish papers on topics which is interdisciplinary not just basic like zoology botany core subject interdisciplinary subject like bioinformatics computational biology artificial intelligence machine learning molecular biology something which is at the borders of science the next is grab some funding whether from india or nih in us or europe wherever get some funding get funded do some independent research projects where you have something to showcase okay now after that build a teaching portfolio now how can you do that? in india you can start teaching in coaching institutes in various colleges at lower level maybe when you are doing your phd side by side you can start teaching so that you become good in teaching because teaching is a art not a science okay? teaching doesn't come naturally to everybody you have to practice to get there so build a teaching portfolio gain teaching experience develop curriculum for your students make it more interesting get some testimonials from your students or from the hod of that university and then develop industry connections now that you have done your post doc minimum work in the industry for 5 years Yes. Now why do I say that? Because when you start working in the industry for 3 to 5 years and then you apply into these mega universities they will pay more respect to you. You can command and demand the right salary. Now basically you should target Indian Academy a high paying jobs only towards your 35 or 40 years once you've crossed that. So basically from the age of 22 to 35 you have to build the base the foundation once you have built the foundation on the top of it when you apply you will definitely get a high paying job now how much that will be currently as far as i know so why i know is because i was trying to recruit a bioinformatics scientist from a private university in bangalore and the guy opened up his mouth and i was like probably i have to sell my kidney he is getting salary of 50 lakhs per annum right now in bengaluru and he is a postdoc from us and he has come back to india and he is working in a private university in bengaluru and he is getting 50 lakhs per annum salary right I was like okay dude i cannot afford you so sorry but yes he was really talented i would have loved to have him on my team now that you have developed the industry connections and you have worked in the industry for 3 to 5 years followed by that you have to increase your visibility in conferences that is where the academic people you know hods and all will go so start speaking in those conferences you know get invited publish posters participate in workshops online or offline webinars get associated with biotechnica because we have a big network of hods who are always talking to us so we can also introduce you to them now followed by that keep checking biotechnica because that's where all these jobs openings will come up whenever it comes so keep checking the moment it comes apply fast because it's not just you who is watching this video there are other people you can see the views how many people have watched it there are more people who have watched it so probably they are also going to apply so keep checking biotechnica there is a free newsletter biotechnica.org/subscribe the link is given in the description go ahead subscribe and then make sure that you also focus on leadership role so throughout your journey till your when you get into the job as a professor basically the management of any university or college looks at can this guy also lead a department what happens then is they look at the double benefit of hiring you one is okay right now you are joining as a beginner but later on like 3 years later 
you can be upgraded to a HOD position and that's what you want. Last point is, whenever you are negotiating your salary for this position, you open a big mouth, you're going to get a shit. But first, understand what's their budget and don't ask directly, but indirectly you can ask that what is the range you're looking at and then maybe 10% or 20% premium on what range they have told you, you can quote and you can get that job. Whatever I told you, it's not written in textbooks, it's all about the experience which I've gained from the industry and of course, so many people I've interacted with, but there might be something which I didn't mention in this video or might be a forgot or might be there's something new so mention that in the comment section so that we can enrich the community and help everybody thank you so much for watching this video i hope to see you soon as a indian academia leader and be in touch because i would love to talk to you thank you take care bye